Good morning everyone. A quick video about anti passback with Kentech with special edition and corporate. We're going to do the setup together. Let's make sure what we have, make sure my controller is okay. So here I have a KT400 controller communicating and I have a KT300 that I'm going to use uh, also to do the demonstration. Not communicating for now, but that's fine. We can do the setup together. First, we need to remember in corporate and special, the anti passback is at controller level. Meaning, in my system right now, I have two controllers. I will have automatically two area, two different area of anti passback. First, to set up the anti passback, we need to first of all activate the anti passback at the controller level otherwise it will not be available at the door for example if i go devices door and i select my door let's say i take um, main entrance in the kt400 here you see door anti passback you can't set it up because the controller first we need to set up the anti passback to enable the anti passback at the controller is the same for the kt300 as well if i select a door it should i give me the access but it will only work with the access for now because it's not at the controller level now how to enable the anti passback we go devices controller select the controller then we go option anti passback option here it's uh, what option we have soft anti passback hard anti passback and we have controller local area controller local area is only available in kt400 if you have special and corporate but now let's focus on the anti passback soft anti passback what is that soft anti passback will give an alarm if the person is at the wrong passback area for example if i enter a building without swapping without uh, um, presenting my card to the reader and i'm trying to leave i will be able to leave but it will send an alarm to the administrator of the system saying i just left but he didn't enter now if i set it to hard anti passback if i enter an area without a valid reading at the reader and access granted at the entry part i will not be able to leave because the system will not letting me leave because how did i get inside at the first place now not only i will not be able to leave it will also send an alarm, an event, to the administrator of the system. We also have forgive schedule. Forgive schedule is, for example, I'm going to create a forgive schedule. Uh, let's say Friday night. It's a schedule that we create where it's going to empty all the area. Meaning after that schedule kick in, since I say Friday night, let's say I do it for 23.59, So on Friday night, at that time, I, I enable every Friday, it will empty. It will set everybody to unknown area. It will set everybody outside. Now meaning on monday or the next swipe no matter if you forget to swipe out you will be able to enter without any problem why because the system is programmed at that specific time to empty all the area of the anti-passback on that controller of course okay first enable the anti-passback we did that with the kt400 same we can do that with kt 300 now the foggy schedule we don't have to do it so if we don't do it 
meaning if somebody didn't swipe correctly at some point they will get stuck somewhere and they will have to communicate with the admin administrator of the system to have his credential set up properly okay so first enable the anti-pass back after that we can now set up which door is entry which door for example here i have main entrance to anti-pass back that's the door where people will enter then i have exit door that's the door people will leave but in that same controller for example maybe i have two door people can enter or three door people can enter and one door people can leave so i can set that accordingly for example i can say or maybe in that controller just those two door managing the anti-pass back for that area okay so in that case i i leave the main door the one saying main entrance and the other one saying exit door now let's take a look at what's happening live i have my event in there of course i will need to create user and card let me do that quick so we can continue okay so i have two cards in the system now remember as for door i have one exit door one main entrance door so let's take a look which door is the main entrance door exit is the door four in the controller main entrance is door one because i can see that one zero one zero one zero one zero four all right so if i try So if I try to enter to a door, it will, for the first time, use this card. It can use it anywhere because the system needs to locate that user. So for the first time, let's say even if I swipe to the exit reader, I have access granted. Uh, you see one Carlos swipe to the exit door and he has access granted. Now let's say, meaning one left the bit, the area now let's say some way somehow one managed to enter without swapping now let's see if they can swipe again now it has access deny bad uh pass bad bad location why because you left already so how can you be leaving again but if one goes to the entry where you say entrance main entrance he can enter now now if he goes to the exit as you can see exit door he can leave same as for the other user jocelyn jocelyn swipe but he didn't open the door so he now if Justin swipe to the exit reader, he can exit now. Pretty much that's the anti pass back setup. Now, the step is what? Remember, first we need to define, uh, enable the anti pass back at the controller. So remember, we enable the hard anti pass back. That's why we had access denied, access granted. Let's go to devices controller again and this time let's go and say soft anti pass back all right so we have soft anti pass back meaning if i swipe the controller didn't reload yet so after we do a programming the controller will load all right now let's go I have access granted to the exit reader. I have again access granted to that same door 
but it's saying pass back bad location. It letting me exit even the system knows that I left already. Why? Because this time we did the setup, the anti pass back. The type is set as soft anti pass back. When it's hard anti pass back, the system will not let you go to an area, to the wrong area, because it's set too hard. If it's soft, it's letting you go or letting you enter, but it's sending a message to the administrator to know that Jocelyn just passed to an area where it's not supposed to be or is at a location, but he didn't enter properly or he didn't leave properly. Same as for KT300, that's the same way to do the setup. Devices controller, select the controller, KT300 315, set the type of anti pass back, it can be known, meaning there is no anti pass back in that system. It can be soft or it can be hard. Now, remember, sometimes you have anti pass back in the system, but you have some people that you cannot, they cannot be stuck with anti pass back. For example, if he's the security manager of that location and the security manager can be running after somebody, you don't want him to be stuck for anti pass back. If it's a medical, um, team emergency team you don't want them to be stuck with anti pass back so even if you have anti pass back in a system you can add exception to a user you go to the user let me go again remember user card you look for that user you can use let's say I, i'm gonna go look for anybody with a j one carlos Justin. we both start with j and now you go to miscellaneous and you put a check mark at what it says disable pass back when you disable pass back everybody else will have to follow the pass back otherwise they will be stuck but those user that you add the exception will not be blocked by anti pass back a situation i hope this quick video helped thank you very much for watching.